Hi, this is Connor with my fourth video. Today I want to talk about nesting parts and on shape so that you can use the laser cutter quicker and more efficiently. The advantage of nesting and on shape instead of using curl draw is that the nest is going to be linked back to your original parts. So you can revise your design and your nest is going to stay ready to use in curl draw. Also, it means you aren't using up the laser cutter computer while other people are waiting their turn. Let's start with any part that we want to flat cut. Right click it and create a drawing of the part. Now we want to choose custom template. Let's use ANSI size C because uh, at 17 by 22 inches, it's very close to the laser cutter. Now we do not want to include a border and do not want a title block. Okay, so now we can insert the sideways profile of the piece that we want to cut. go easy. Now submitting another view is also relatively simple. We just need to choose the next part that we want to include. Now this is pretty similar to curl draw. We can move these parts around and nest them to get the most usage out of our material. Next I'm going to show you what to do with a part that's smeared in your assembly. Now don't forget that the laser cutter does not create even cuts. They taper from the top to the bottom. So whenever you have a mirrored part in assembly, you always want to cut two versions, one of them flipped. You also make sure that your assemblies assemble easier and are also more precise. So I'm going to start by placing the right view of it. I can place the left view of it. So we want to rotate this to nest better. Let's look at the view properties. Here we can set a rotation angle. And also here we can check the scale. Now we can see that it's one to one, so it should cut the right size on the laser cutter. Okay, so now I've got our nest together. Let's check out how this updates. If we go to the PD, uh, PDU, pan tilt unit here. We can, let's change the tilt angle to 25. Not sure if that made an obvious difference here. Let's change the thickness to six millimeters. Now that definitely made a difference. Okay, so now if we go back to our nest here, we can see the update arrow is turned orange. If we click this, Our nest automatically updates and now it's just a matter of dragging the parts around. Hopefully if you follow these steps you'll be able to use the laser cutter more efficiently than ever and we'll be able to build the best robots that we possibly can. Thanks for watching. We have one more step. To export it just right click here, export and export as DXF. It's ready to cut. Thanks for watching.